sausage and pepper pasta. This is absolutely wonderful right here. I'm talking flavors from left, right, up, down, everywhere. So let's get right on into it. I'm about to show you how it's done. Let's get started. So you want to begin by getting a pot of water to a rolling boil. Go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt in there and drop that pasta right on in. You want to cook it according to the directions on your box. It should have all the timing and everything you need to have your pasta right. Moving on, I'm going to slice up one large onion as well as a trio of bell peppers. As you can see, we have all the colors right here, the orange, the yellow and the red go ahead and slice it up moving on i have my pan to about a medium i'm drizzling a little bit of oil in there and i'm gonna drop in my italian sausage and what i'm looking here to do is get a nice beautiful color on each side of our sausage uh when we're done here they're not gonna be completely cooked but don't worry we're gonna simmer this up in that yummy yummy sauce that we got coming in just a few so go ahead and sear up each side, I would say for about, I don't know, three to four minutes or so until they are nice and beautiful. And you are then going to remove it from the heat as we move on to the next step. So we are dropping in our veggies, our bell pepper, our onion. You want to go ahead and get it all in your pan. Go ahead and mix them up. Let all the flavors communicate with one another. And we are going to let this go until our onion starts to look a little bit translucent. Just a little bit right here. You know what I'm saying? At this point, you're going to drop in some minced garlic. And in the second here, we're also going to drop in a little bit of white cooking wine. And you want to let this cook down for, I would say, another minute and a half two minutes you want to burn off the little alcohol that's in the white cooking wine and once you get to that point we are going to drop in about 24 ounces of your favorite pasta sauce go ahead and get that in there and we are going to also season this up with a little bit of Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt and pepper. And if you want a little bit of heat, you could drop in some red chili flakes, maybe a little bit of cayenne. If you want to just, you know, spice it up a bit. But like I said, we kept it nice and mild. We don't want too much spice. Again, my kiddos will be munching down on this. All right, once you have this seasoned up, go ahead and give it a mix. And in a second here, we are gonna reintroduce our Italian sausage, which I did slice into smaller pieces, of course. Go ahead and get your Italian sausage in this pan, back into the fold, back into the party. You know what I'm saying? And you want to go ahead and let this simmer. I would say for about an additional three to four minutes or so. Let it simmer. You know what I'm saying? And wow, wow, wow. Is this looking good or what? And this right here, this goes awesome with some pasta. But you can also serve this with rice or you could eat it on its own if you want. It's just absolutely delicious. So once our sausage and peppers are ready to go, we're gonna dump all that goodness on top of our pasta that we did drain. Go ahead and dump it right on top. And we are gonna, you know, shred a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese on top as well. Sprinkle a little bit of freshly chopped parsley and you go ahead and grab a fork and you are good to go. This is so delicious. I can't wait for you to try this one. Um, I hope you guys try it and I know you guys will enjoy it. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video. Let YouTube know you're enjoying the content. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Rock that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest video. And I will see you all on the next one. Doses.